Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kanisha the Gardening Mama here with you. Thanks for joining me. Today, I want to share with you how I made my DIY chicken feeder. This feeder is great for broilers chickens. If you are thinking about growing your first batch of broilers chickens, you will soon realize that buying all the accessories needed can be quite expensive. So that is why I have opted to build in many of the accessories that I have used for my broilers and for my layers. I must say that most of the materials I have used were reclaimed materials that I have sourced from old skids collected from my local hardware store. So let's get into the build. These are the materials that you will need to build one DIY feeder. You will need one piece of two by four, that should be two feet long. You will also need one piece of six by one, that is 30 inches long. If you don't have any six by one, you can opt to join in two three by one because this is important. This is what you'll use to cover the top of your feeder. You will also need two pieces of two by six times one foot long, and these will be your legs. Then you'll need some two and a half inches screws and some one inch screws. And lastly, you are going to need a piece of sewer pipe. And this sewer pipe should be four inches wide and it should be two feet long. And you're gonna cut it in half because we're going to use half of the sewer pipe. Once you have all your materials cut and measured, now it's time to build your DIY feeder. Let's get into it. The first thing I did was to attach the sewer pipe to the 2x4. When attaching the sewer pipe to the 2x4, I am using a level. By using a level, I am trying to make sure that this is as level as possible because I don't want the sewer pipe to be tipping to one side. That way, when the chickens go to eat, they are not wasting the food, having the feed going out from one side. After I've identified that this is leveled, I am using the one inch screws to attach the sewer pipe to the two by four. I am using about four to five screws, depending on how much you want to use. You can use more of that if you prefer it, but using four or five screws, that is fine. My next step, was to identify the center of each leg. I identify the center of each leg by measuring one inch from both sides, which gives me a four inch center in the middle. Then I used my two and a half inch screws to attach both legs to the two by four piece of lumber with a sewer pipe attached to it. The sewer pipe that I used to make all my feeders, they're brand new. Originally, I bought a 10 feet long sewer pipe from Home Depot. And from that 10 feet long sewer pipe, I was able to make four feeders for my brother's chickens and two feeders for my hens. So brand new sewer pipe, not gonna use reclaimed sewer pipe for my feeder. So brand new, go to Home Depot and you can get that. I am not sure of your local Home Depot if you'll be able to get it cut because while I was at Home Depot where I live, the associates, they were saying that they don't offer that service anymore to cut the pipe. So I was standing in there, I needed the pipe, but I couldn't take it in my SUV. So while I was there, there was another customer. He came up to me. He was like, do you need to get that cut? And I was like, yes. He was like, if you want, I have a saw outside in my truck that I could use to cut it for you. So I was like, well, thank you. I went outside in the parking lot. He was able to cut the pipe in all the different pieces that I needed. So all I had to do was just take it home and make my feeders. So that was a blessing for me.
for me, this was a simple bill and I feel like it's something that is easy enough for anyone to do on their own way. Once you're comfortable using a drill or using even a handsaw, you're able to build this on your own. The most difficult part I must say would be to attach the legs to the two by four that has a sewer pipe attached to it. Because at this point, it is very important, very crucial that it's centered. So that's why I, it took my time to measure, to find the center. Where am I going to put the two by four to make sure it's not too much in one side, but it's centered and just following those lines. So I did go ahead and drop the line and I had to make sure that I could see the line. So when I'm screwing in, it was going to the right place. So apart from that, after the legs were attached, it was just easy going into the final bill of the feeder. There you have it, the final part of building my DIY chicken feeder. And at this stage, all I am doing is, a, is screwing the cover to the frame. And this cover is very important because at the early stage when the broiler's chicks are very active, they're able to jump on the feeder. And if they jump on the feeder, I don't want them to knock the feeder over or I don't want them to be able to pull in it. So having a very wide cover at the top even if they do have a chance to perch on it, they will not be able to point it because it'd be wider than the four inch wide sewer pipe that I have on the bottom there. So if you have covering that are less than four feet wide, you can attach them together and that way you can have a wide covering preventing the food from getting spoiled. There you have it. Let me show you how I added the feed to the feeder. I just use a, a regular plastic glass. And if you have a scoop, that is fine too. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because I will be posting my DIY feeder that I've used with my hands and my DIY waters that I've used both with my hands and my broilers. So stay tuned.